Hi guys. And um, this is the next section of videos for the ho the high portal lights plate. Now we were just uh, coming into the oops, stop fucking around with me. Uh, we just started the uh, Jenny's Lost Titan side quest, and we just entered the magical menagerie to. Oops. Uh, we just entered the magical menagerie to get Ginny's scales. He's a bit cranky, isn't he? That music playing because I hit him with a flipendo. <laughs> now, I hope my voice isn't a bit too loud because I don't want to fuck up this completely. So, yeah. So, uh, you can keep a low profile by sneaking up against walls. Peek around the corner, so it's L2 or L2, and you can also cast a spell while peeking. Oh my god, am I. Oh, he's found me! Shit! That's his leg locker curse, Locomotive Mortis. Fail. Your spell refuses to hit. So yeah. Now in here there's a chest with a wizard card in it, obviously. What card is it? I can't remember what the card is. Shit. <laughs> oh, shut up, you stupid music. That's this is the scales then, I suppose. Now we've got to get out of the shop. Um Well you do because you just chased me round the room. Honest. I just don't understand that at all, right? Cast a spell up here. Not there, shit. Ha! <laughs> Fail. Your spell fails to hit me, and so I got out of the designated area, so. Sorry, I can't catch you anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, as soon as you went through that gate, you'll be outside the designated area, so he'll just ignore you. Uh, hopefully, my voice isn't too damn loud, because I hate it when that happens. Last three parts were just. My voice was like really loud. Hope I haven't boosted it too much because that would just be a bit shitty. <laughs> so, we're having to do Jenny's Lost Items, stupid titty. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, next place to go to is Gamble and Japes, which is down here. Which is a joke shop, yes, yeah? so. Who are we going to find in here? Fred and George. Duh. Uh, hopefully I want to get up to the Wumpy Willow Bitty. In this sec, this sitting. Hopefully my PlayStation doesn't crash. I'm using my Slimline PS2 because my mum keeps moaning at me about it. We thought we'd lost you for good, Potter. Look at that, like. Give me a bean. No beans. I remind the player. <laughs> now over here is a bookcase which has a wizard card behind it. And a load of beans. That's a knife wizard card apparently. Oh, shitty camera. If the camera goes off to the left like that, just roll your right analog stick around in circles and it'll fix it. Oh shit. Nothing in there. So. Let's not go to that. Sh what the? It's completely missing. Whatever his name is, George. Thank you. Hurry, stop. Hurry, stop. 
Uh, I need more sickles for that shit. Through here then. Go on, try the magical measure Yeah, yeah, I need to speak in this silly voice. Oops, overcharge. Why am I speaking in this stupid voice? Not me, but he said I'm so bored as if this is a pointless point in life. Uh, yeah, if you noticed in my last video, it was like all audio desync and such. Sorry about that. I've tried, I've tried to save like my antivirus and firewall to see if that'll clear it up. Hopefully, it's all better in this because I, I hate audio desync. It's annoying. Yes, that is Ginny's quill, Harry. You're ever so smart as usual. I don't even know why they have a crawl space there. I think it was just another excuse to test the magical measure. Which you don't see again. I don't even know what the point of it is. You never see it anyway. Oh, I can buy this now. Four sickles and you get stick pellets. You can buy these later with Fred and George, but I always buy them now anyway. So you now have some stick pellets. These can be equipped on square, triangle or circle from the inventory and you remember as you would with a spell. Throw a stick pellet, press the button that you've assigned it to. Apart from being great fun, stink pellets can be used to stun small magical creatures or get you out of a sticky situation with prefects. They'll basically stand there and cough like Some shit. So you'll be able to get past, but they're not really effective, they just turn right and see you. So not really effective, but I, I suggest using spell armors when you get it. That's more effective. So Um, what else to talk about yet? Yeah. Having had a bit of audio desync with the last section, and hopefully it's fixed in this part. So I don't want more audio desync because that's fucking annoying. Um, now if you were watching my homeworld let's play, uh, there should have been another video at the end called Higara Reclaimed, but apparently there's some content on that video that's copyright. I don't understand why, I don't know what's copyright on it, is it like last bit of it that's copyright? I don't know. So I thought I'd put that video up, because I don't want to keep getting told of that it's a copyright. I don't want ads all over my videos, it sucks. Uh, yeah, this is Hagrid, here. I jumped like a fag. <gasps> I don't give a shit anyway, so what's the point? Yeah, these are... Oh, so I just said that in... What, what? That's odd, see that voice he's saying that in? It says exactly like all of a wood. Molly, again. I think, what the fuck, that's exactly the same as that guy in Flesh and Bloods. That's exactly like Percy. Completely random. Try to target Tom. Die. For fuck's sake, I don't want to target the fucking barrel right here. He just stands upright. I don't even know why he does that. And uh, never mind. What the fuck? I hate it when it does that. It just collapses for no reason. Uh, I'm trying to just hit that. For fuck's sake, hit it. Yes, thank you. So that sickle bite is up and the door unlocks. Ah, <sighs> dear. <laughs> I've got school tomorrow. Oh, dear. But hopefully it gets closed early because cause it's, the temperatures here in Scotland are getting really low. I mean, it was. And uh, there's a place up in the north of Scotland called Alt Nahara. And it went down to about minus 22 there. 
That is cold. Even for this time of the year. I mean, that is epic cold. What the fuck? Oh shit, I've done it again. Overcharge your spell and I've got it in, in pelleting me. Die. Hopefully I don't have any more. Oh for shit's sake, I've done it again. What the fuck? Right, come on. Just go in the fucking cage. Thank you. In the cage you go. You've got to say drop in before it counts. Come back here, you cunt. Thank you. Yeah, annoying music. Oh, look, he's come, kind of went half out of the cage. I don't understand that. Odd glitch. Never mind. Yeah, if you've been watching Zeppelin G 1993, uh, 1993 spot through, uh, he's had a bit of audio problem too. Hope it's not recurring. Yeah, if you put all the imps in their cages, you get a wizard card for it. But if you go in here, this is the one you have to be careful of because if you forget it's here, then you'll end up missing a card. So, in here is a card as well. Thank you for revealing your contents. And I think for every 10 cards you get, yep, so this is a health boost, yep, health goes up a little. If you remember from my High Point and Philosopher's Stone Let's Play, you got an extra health bar for every 20 you got. Eh, not really helpful that, anyway, so... Yeah. I mean, it's actually, going back to the topic about the snow and all that, it's actually so cold that the, the, the sea's freezing up. Which is epic cold. So, yeah. <laughs> that just falls conveniently to block the door. So, round here. And along this wall for no reason whatsoever. Now, if you remember when I joined YouTube, I did put up a Harry Potter walkthrough before, but I was using my webcam, so it was shit. But since I got my dazzle, I'm using it now, permanently. Oh my fuck. That, I, if that was true, I could have actually jumped the whole distance. If I just pushed the... If I just jumped, climbed up on the block, then I might have actually been able to jump the whole distance. That would have been epic if I managed to do that. Um, Walkthrough shouldn't be too hard to see because... um. Or just check. Yeah, you can see it actually perfectly clear, even the dark areas. I think, because I've got the sharpness right up to the top, so I could get, so I didn't have to waste time with brightening up the screen and shit like that. But having the sharpness right up to the top helps immensely. Now when you come out of there, you'll get the spell of tape. Now here is a completely pointless door that goes to nowhere, if I can see through the wall. Oh, look at that. Nowhere. Open out to the open graphics. And up here is the same. That goes out to the Muggle world. And it's just a white door with nothing there. And Harry's no way even near the door. And actually it looks like he's at the door but he's miles away from it. What is over here? Nothing interesting. Yeah, nothing there. I always keep thinking there are secret passages behind there. So you rate the quality of your pubs by the size of their cellar you do, Hagrid. Interesting. So he rates how good his pub is by the size of their cellar. That's a bit odd, but... That's Hagrid for you. <laughs> He's a bit loony in the head, shall we say. Yeah, I'm going to have to get more RAM in my computer, I think, so I don't have for future audio desync, if there is any audio desync in this. Yeah, you also need to buy a potion vial from All Pepper, so you need to get sickles all the time. You need eight sickles for it, so... Oh, fuck, I should...